read my lips. No new Our government is broken. It's going to spend a billion dollars of taxpayers' money to build a new high-security American embassy in London. A billion dollars. Twelve stories, 500,000 square foot fortress that will be built in the shape of a light-filled cube and be surrounded by natural defenses of a meadow, woodland, and a 100-foot wide moat. Yeah, a moat. The Philadelphia architect who designed the embassy says they were able to use the landscape as a security device. It's meant to protect the embassy from potential bombers and remove the need for blast barriers. Just put some crocodiles in the moat. Construction set to start in 2013 and should be finished in 2017. One billion dollar price tag makes it one of the costliest U.S. embassies ever built. Which leads us to the question of, can you say tone deaf? These grandiose plans are announced at a time of record deficits, 10% unemployment, millions of Americans struggling to make ends meet, to pay for food and health care, and our government's planning for a castle-like embassy with a moat. A billion dollars According to a new report, cash-strapped California lost or wasted more than one billion dollars. Tonight, we'll show you how we're on the money. While the state of California has been sending workers home without pay, at a time when teachers are being laid off and schools being closed. A new report by the state auditor shows the state of California has lost more than one billion dollars from pure and simple mismanagement. Example number one, taxpayers overpaid for airfare and meals for state employees. In some cases, state employees got reimbursed for driving to and from work. The cost to taxpayers, more than three hundred thousand dollars. Example number two. The state of California paid $580,000 for vacant space. That's right. The state of California paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for rent on empty offices. Example number three. Food stamps. The state handed out $12 million in taxpayer money in overpayments for food stamps, which is still out there. Officials with the Department of Social Services, which issues food stamps, say they will start collecting that $12 million starting next month. State Auditor Elaine Howell says she has told state agencies how to save the money, but many times they ignore her. But there were upwards of about 60 recommendations that the departments either didn't respond to us or haven't taken any action, and we have concerns about that. At the Capitol, where approval ratings for lawmakers are near an all-time low, and where they're feeling pressure to fix the state's fiscal crisis, the revelation that state agencies wasted more than one billion taxpayer dollars is raising some eyebrows. Congressman Charles Rangel is reacting to an ethics panel's finding against him. Rangel, seen here at today's White House Health Care Summit, calls the conclusions disturbing and promises he'll have more to say after talking to a lawyer. The House Ethics Committee found Rangel knowingly accepted Caribbean trips from a corporation. That's a violation of House rules which forbid hidden corporate financing. Rangel is one of Congress's most influential members. He chairs a committee which writes laws setting tax rates. Critics question whether he can continue in that role.